Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Wiles. I work at UConn and Hartford Hospital. To fight the PPE shortage, you can download my open source 3D mask files below, and this video will show you how to print them and fit them with commonly found filters. Due to the COVID pandemic, the CDC is allowing homemade masks. However, you have to use these at your own risk. I suggest using Ultimaker Cura. You'll be printing a mask, a cover, putting filters in the cover, and putting straps on. We'll go through it from the start right now. Open the folder you downloaded. Pick the size mask you want, wide, medium, or narrow, male or female. Print it, see if it fits well. If it does, we're also going to print the corresponding size. Place these together before doing anything else to make sure they're a good fit. So what you want is a piece that's going to fit flat right inside of this. You can cut a little bit smaller so that it lays flat and then you can glue gun easier on the edges. Make sure you purchase a cool temperature glue gun. This one is a 145 degrees Fahrenheit. I got it for about $7. Seal all the edges. First do one layer of 3M Merv 12 rated material. Now this is just what we did. You can get creative. But the 3M specifically makes one where the metal is not interwoven with it. It's on top and it pulls right off. So this is how easily this one comes off. It is sharp, so watch your fingers. Do 240 of these for six cents each out of this one piece. You could double up, but we're using one layer and gluing it in as a droplet filter. For layer two, we're using Curve 13 material. It has metal throughout it, so it maintains the ridges. So when you put a layer of this in, it has a lot more surface area. That being said, while this does block viruses, there is a higher level MERV-16, which would work even better, but it's much more expensive and harder to find, so use your discretion about which you prefer to go with, and feel free to modify however you think is best. This combo does pass fit testing. I was able to get 48 of these out for 31 cents each. The metal does hold it in place, but I would suggest a little bit of glue just to make sure it doesn't get dislodged. You don't need a perfect seal because the bottom layer is already having a seal to stop the droplets. You can think of this as just an extra step, and it is actually optional, but I suggest tacking it in place for extra security. I work in a hospital, you recognize these. These are phlebotomy or IV tourniquets. They're stretchy. We're going to use these as the straps for around your head. I've tried third and half. I like cutting into thirds. So what you can do is you can put these through, it doesn't really matter the direction, and come through, and do one loop, take these and wrap around either side of it, and do a square knot. So just go through here. So we're gonna take these two. Fits in the nose slot, you push it until it clicks, and make some sandpaper, and just do a little bit around the tip of the nose, and that's about it. That smooths it right out. If you fit like that. You can use the glue gun to go around the edge if you want and make it a permanently sealed unit. I choose not to so I can replace my filter depending on how much heavy usage it will be getting. And then I wipe the mask down with bleach. I'm gonna be building a UVC chamber to also further disinfect the mask, and then we'll just replace the filter piece. The filter pieces take two hours to print, and the masks take about five. You can also adjust the width and fine tune it in Cura. They're Ender 3 printers by Creality. They're the best bang for your buck that I was able to find. They're $220. You put them together yourself, takes about three or four hours, but then you've got a printer that's much better than any other in that price range. They work well. You just have them running in batches. PLA filament, they're one kilogram or 2.2 pounds. They are 300 meters. Search any of that on eBay, Amazon, and you'll find them. To calculate the price of PLA plastic per mask, I'm going to put in the price I paid for a spool, the number of meters, and then I'm gonna come over to Cura Slicer and I'm going to put in a normal male mask and filter. I'm going to slice them. It will tell me how many meters of filament that takes. 18.27. I type that in here. And you can see that the total price of a mask is 97 cents for both parts together. If I slice just the filter cartridge, 6.18 meters of filament, and tell you that that costs 33 cents for a replacement filter cartridge. Now we calculated that the filter material is about 
40 cents. So for about 75 cents, you can have a new cartridge. Everyone, thank you for watching. If this helps, please share, like, subscribe, get this knowledge out as fast as you can. There are a lot of 3D printers out there that could be running 24 seven right now and making a big difference. CDC says you can wear this during this time of national emergency. Once that's over, you may no longer wear uh, homemade masks. Create these at your own risk. These cannot be sold for profit. And please continue to improve upon it. I started with someone else's file. His name is Kavathro. Thingiverse is 422563. Thank you, Kavathro, for your contribution. These are to be used as a last resort only per the CDC. Every hospital in the country gets 10 printers and makes 40 masks a day, and they're reusable. Uh, and you clean the masks with either UV light or bleach. And then you can get everyone together and get these filters, the 1500 MPR uh, MERV-12 equivalents. And then here is the MERV-13s. All of them are pretty similar. Here's the cool shot low temperature glue gun that doesn't melt the PLA. Here's a few of my friends helping me put together my most recent uh, 3D printer that arrived. And here's our first assembly of the prototypes. Finally, thank you to this Facebook group for getting me so involved in the online open source materials for COVID. Thank you. Would you wear these masks? Please let me know in the comments below.